Hey guys, I've got unlimited health. Let's check out this uh, video call. It's a new uh, video, new channel that I'm t uh, taking a look at, okay? Uh, somebody suggested me to uh, go check out this video call, The Ultimate Guide to Battle Engineer by Uncle Dane. But um, that video is like 1 hour, 16, 17 minutes. Oh my God, it's like a movie level reaction, okay? It's crazy. And, uh, you know, I, I, I want to do the reaction, but it's 1 hour 16 minutes uh, and I have two channels to, that I need to take care of, okay? Two channels. This is my backup channel and I got a main channel that is out of, uh, you know, copyright strike and everything. It's been a month now and I'm uploading there. Go check out the link will be in the description. You'll thoroughly be entertained, by the way, okay? But uh, if, if I do a reaction that is this long, I'll be so tired that I won't be able to do other reactions and my voice, my voice will get all raspy and shit it happened before and uh, i couldn't even continue to do more reaction videos it's mad it's just madness okay so i don't know I'll, I'll do it sometime during the weekend uh will probably be the only thing i'll do uh, on that day and and no, no other videos but these long there's so many suggestions for me with long ass videos that i need to be doing uh but i will uh take time and do that only one video i guess in during the weekends and whatnot and uh make it work okay so uh today we're gonna take a look at the most popular video on this channel called uncle dane uh, just to check out what he is like what what content that he makes so he actually makes tf2 content uh, and i think he talks like uh, you know narrates the videos it's pretty cool okay this this guy is uh, pretty talented it's pretty much i mean look at the uh, views that he gets the most popular video is has like 5 million views that's a lot that's crazy okay so let's take a look at this uh, video it's called how to fight every class in tf2 as engineer and win okay this thing is very long 25 uh, minute uh, video and it's gonna be a 35 minute reaction or something so please uh get yourself a popcorn grab a fucking couch uh get yourself a, a, a soft drinks cool drinks whatever the fuck uh, get it and sit down and let's watch this thing okay let's do it three two one let's go how to fight every class in tf2 as engineer and win okay let's do it three two one let's go I hope it's uh, super entertaining <laughs> because it's 25 minutes long and I don't want to be bored, okay? Let's do it. 3, 2, 1, let's go. What the hell? <laughs> That's a Sentry beard. going up. Sentry. Uh, what? Teleporter going up. Teleporter going up. Oh! Nobody likes engineer. What the fuck? Dispenser going up. Oh! Nice. Provisions. <laughs> Uncle Dave. Awesome. Nice. That's a good intro. There are a lot of really fun things to get good at in Team Fortress 2. Hmm. Aiming your gun. Aiming your gun. Jump, rocket familiarizing jumping. Familiarizing yourself with the maps. Huh. Trick stabs. Head shots. Meat oh. shots. Air shots. Memorizing how long it takes for a health pack to respawn. Memorizing wow. the stats of a hundred different unlockable weapons. Memorizing the monologue from Meet the Scout every night before bed. The list goes on. But in huh. my opinion, an underappreciated part of playing TF2 is something that can be found in any video game with characters with different toolkits. Hmm. Matchups. Match Training your brain to look at a character you see in front of you, look at the character you're currently playing as, examine huh. the loadout they're currently running compared to the tools you currently have oh. equipped, and think to Hey, you got gold skins in this game? I didn't know that. You got gold skins? Is that like, um, I don't know, you, you get uh, after you are, uh, like, I don't know, really experienced using that weapon, and the game gives you like a gold skin? Uh, the gold skin gets unlocked. Is that what happens? I don't know, man. <laughs> to yourself. But but it looks so good. I want that skin. There's about an 89% <laughs> chance that I lose this matchup and then you die immediately. Well, that's a oh. lot of fun. <laughs> but what really makes this process engaging is when you're able to use your knowledge of what your class is capable of versus huh. what the enemy's class Shit. is capable of and use your tools to give yourself a larger advantage and larger come out advantage. on top. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And because mm. I've played a whole lot of Engineer, that's the perspective that you're going to be getting. Mm. This is how to fight every class in TF2. Wow. As Engineer. As Engineer. 
and win. And win. Before you can start <laughs> homing your matchups, you'll have to work on the two title is also skills. like that: <laughs> aim and positioning. Hmm. I won't be getting into the specifics of these because they're very much a broad aim and part positioning of at TF2 in general, and okay. not really specific to any matchups. But instead, an overall important thing to develop to make your matchups a lot easier. Hmm. Aim is something that will develop. With hey, it's almost like I'm taking a tutorial class in order to play really good at uh, Team Fortress 2. And you know what? I'm actually uh, kind of installing. I got it going uh, on Steam page and I'm gonna like uh, start installing it after reacting to this video because after watching all these TF2 videos I'm like I'm like really tempted to play it I want to play it so I'm about to install it okay so don't worry <laughs> I'll play I, I might even play it on like my twitch channel uh, the link will be in the description go check out my twitch channel I've been you know, I, I react to a lot of games instead of playing them, but I want to actually play this game just to see. Uh, I played one match a long time ago, just so you know, okay? I know it's going to be great, okay? Good old-fashioned go. practice. The more you shoot your gun, the better you'll get at it. This takes hmm. time, but you can always sharpen your mechanical skills using community tools like MGE hmm. or TR Walkway. Positioning, <laughs> on the other hand, is something that develops with good old-fashioned experience. experience. After you spend enough time in this game, you'll begin to develop game sense, game sense. meaning you'll be yes. able to figure out the most optimal times to get yourself into advantageous positions before That's your true. enemy does. Engineer <laughs> being a squishy medium damage, medium speed class on his own, heavily hmm. relies on being in the right place at the right time. And oh. much like every class <laughs> in this game, it's much, much easier to fight someone who is unprepared prepared to fight you back compared Whoa. to aim and position of course like but how you identify someone that is uh that can't fight back you know <laughs> engineer's class role of building management is primarily going to be a single player activity and protecting mm. your buildings from specific classes is the only point at which your matchup knowledge would come into play regarding your supportive buildings huh. however your sentry gun is going to be an important tool when fighting mm. other classes a great example yeah. of this is a tactic that can generally be applied to almost every class matchup one that you'll mm. see mentioned often hey you know what the best thing that you can do with the sentry gun is to place it in a in a position and uh you know, shoot, somebody comes in and it starts shooting, everybody distracted, and then you can go around and start shooting them and get a lot of kills that way. Instead of st uh, sticking next to the st sentry and uh, dying or something like that. Or, uh, you know, your sentry uh, put in a, a bad position and getting taken out by a bunch of people and stuff. You know, you, you can put it in a weird position where nobody can see you or shoot, and then you can go around and shoot them and distract it's gonna be a good strategy but i could be wrong I n i've not played much this game okay <laughs> for the rest of this video mm. the distraction sentry as i've said mm. before it's much easier to win a fight that someone is not prepared for what that boils down to is if someone isn't looking at you while you're fighting them chances are you're gonna beat them the engineer just Dang. so happens to come with a shiny object for people to look at instead of you so oh. use it when you can forcing your enemy to take two versus one fights where one of them is perfect aim man this dude is like an expert at playing engineer I, I wonder if he made uh, other videos on other players, uh, other characters, like uh, Heavy or something. Uh, I would like to know what he does, what, 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 what's best about this character. Like he's saying that the gun is really shiny and everybody's distracted with it and you can use that to your advantage and stuff. That is awesome. It will you know? automatically give you the upper hand in almost every fight. So I, I didn't know that. So that is amazing. Like this dude is uh, like an expert or some shit uh, on playing this game, which is awesome, okay? Your opponent into that situation and at the very least threatening them with the possibility of it can be enough mm. to tip the scales in your favor. And lastly, <laughs> a general skill that can help significantly in the matchups game is understanding your limits and using that knowledge to pick your fights when possible. Being able oh. to take a look at a situation and say, I can't handle this right now, I'd better retreat, is the best way to retain your longevity and can yeah. often lead to better opportunities. That hey, there's nothing wrong with backing off and going and hiding somewhere to gain your, I don't know, gain back your health and shit like that. Uh, that's good, you know, <laughs> you don't have to like, hey, it's 1v1, I cannot leave, I'm not a pussy or anything like that, okay, just just use your mind and you'll be fine and then you will win, okay, it's, it's called strategy, okay. It'll be advantageous for you instead. Hmm.
Come on, oh, come Engineer was a scout. A scout as the We're going to do 1v1. <laughs> one be one of the hardest matchups or the easiest, depending on one simple factor. Are you standing near your sentry gun? As a mm. wandering NG with no building, sometimes scouts just run up and kill you. Think fast, chuckle nuts. As they're supposed to. <laughs> if you're good enough at aiming your shotgun, sometimes you can just hit more shots mm. than the scout and win without any help. But scouts are fast. They hop around a lot, and landing a shot on them is supposed to be oh, difficult. But when dang. your sentry gun is nearby, scouts are almost always going to be easy pickings. I mean, most of the time, you probably won't even have to do anything. And sometimes, mm. you probably won't even notice a scout was there until he's already dead. Yeah, the scout is kind of like hit and miss. You you probably won't even see scout coming because uh, his body is very thin and he like flies over you and shit like that, jumps over you or something. I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, of TF2 videos where the scout is like fucking jumping over you like... Uh, in the height of skyscraper and you won't see him coming and he's just uh, drops in front of you and shoots you and you're dead i've seen a lot of videos like that i, I don't know what that is but uh it, scout is very hard very like very difficult to uh, kill a scout you know so this guy is actually uh he knows what he's talking about okay scouts are supposed to be difficult to hit but sentry yeah. guns are also supposed to be able to hit everything that they're targeting scouts run mm. fast but that also means that they run into sentries fast and uh yeah <laughs> they run into sentries a lot what? i'm not kidding sometimes mm. it seems like they you need to know as a sentry <laughs> well, well you put a sentry where everybody's running around and that's where scout will uh i don't know show up out of nowhere without his own knowledge and then he's gonna die okay do it on purpose running into my sentry gun. you you need to know where to place a sentry properly that that would be great okay over and over again <laughs> oh my this is God. awesome there's nothing left to bury I get this weird feeling that scouts actually really like sentry guns, which is why when you happen to get into a confrontation with a scout and you happen to not have a sentry gun built nearby, just go ahead and do the scout a favor and build a sentry gun for him. Nine times out of ten, the scout will forget all about you, the human player. And start shooting the fucking sentry and... You can go around and fucking backstab him or some shit like that. And go it's for the NPC <laughs> that you just conjured. Look at him. He loves it. In all seriousness, it's more likely that the typical scout player's attraction to sentry guns is out of hate rather than affection. And an intelligent scout player will simply just not engage with you if you have a sentry gun nearby. Damn. Building a sentry at the start of a fight can often force the grudge-filled scout to aim at something other than you. But mm. often, it can also be useful to start your engagement with a scout in an area without your sentry and then mm. fall back into it, giving the scout player Damn. false confidence that they can chase you down and finish you off, but instead being met with their worst nightmare. Mm. You know what Dave, you will run. Engineer versus soldier. Okay, scout is um, a, a tough crack to code, but soldier seems easy. It's I think soldier is like default. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it's easy with soldier. And engineer is like he got sentry and whatnot, so I think soldier can be done quite uh, easily it's not a problem unless he throws like grenades in on the sentry that would be dangerous okay. when it comes to this matchup i'd call the soldier the quintessential soft counter to the engineer his rockets oh. not only do massive damage to both the engineer and his buildings oh any that's one shot brain, oh my god but he's got too much health for ng to effectively go toe to toe with him in a typical engagement Dave. Put it simply the engineer just doesn't have the damage the health or the mobility to avoid getting <laughs> consistently blown up by a soldier when they meet on the battlefield. Sometimes in the same vein as scouts, an overconfident rocket jumping soldier can end up just getting caught out by wow, a Wow, man, I, I, I underestimated a soldier. He can really do some real damage. One shot hit with that fucking missile launcher. That's, that's not a joke. And uh, I'm gonna title this video, How to Get Good as Engineer in TF2, because my God, this is, so, I mean, if I wanted to play as engineer, this is the video I should be watching, okay? This is so well done, okay? And the narration, also like the subtitles are like different colors. <laughs> this is awesome, okay? Or shut down by the frontier justice after he destroys it. But most soldiers know to take their time against fortified NGs, and he even has a hmm. rocket launcher that is practically designed to turn buildings into scrap. So when it comes wow. to protecting your sentry gun from soldiers, there's no easier unlock to abuse than the Wrangler. Oh my Whether God. you're tanking explosives or manually shooting down the spamming culprit in the distance, Wrangling your sentry gun is the simplest way to prevent any single player from taking down your nest. You could also 
people use the okay. short circuit to achieve a similar effect, but in my opinion, using 65 metal to prevent damage that can be healed with half that amount is not a great oh, man. Instead, I <laughs> You're standing right behind it and fixing it as soon as, as, soon as it takes damage. What the fuck? <laughs> I think the short circuit is much better utilized to protect your other buildings, hmm. your team, and especially yourself from rockets. Using oh, the short God. circuit in combination with the shotgun or panic attack can give hmm. your survivability in a soldier 1v1 the boost it needs to put yourself on an even playing field. In my experience, hmm. most soldier players either don't equip the shotgun or forget they have one, making oh. closing the distance much easier so you can land the damage required to kill a soldier while preventing damage to yourself. Every once wow. in a while, you might meet a soldier who remembers that rockets aren't aren't his only source of damage, but that can Whoa. also lead to some int Yeah, but because the missile launcher is so easy, like most of the people are gonna use the missile launcher and you can take that into advantage and get get at him in a easier ways, okay? They'll, they This character has a shotgun, but uh, nobody's gonna use that, let's be honest. Interesting okay. mind games in future engagements. And hmm. even if you find yourself in a situation where there's no way you could possibly win a fight against a soldier, the short wow. circuit can also be a very useful tool for escaping back to safety at the cost of your entire metal supply. And hey, hmm. the short circuit is still busted when used on the payload cart. Might as well abuse it before we lose Dave, it. Dave, right, man, what the what? hell? <laughs> Serious damage! Another niche thing you can do to help your longevity <laughs> soldiers is to practice He's surfing doing. rockets. What that basically means is that you intentionally rocket jump using the enemy soldier's rocket, and you jump away oh. to safety. It's not exactly the most reliable thing, but if you find yourself in a pinch, trying to time a crouch jump with the soldier inevitably shooting at your feet can somehow... Wow, that's gonna be very tough. You can actually jump off of the rockets shot by somebody else? I thought uh, only you can jump off of the rockets by shooting down to your feet or something like that. I think it was soldier or maybe it's somebody else, but it, I, maybe it's soldier, I don't know. But my God, I didn't know that you can use others weapons to your advantage. I didn't know that. You the heck out of there. And in general, when fighting classes like the soldier who thrive from splash damage, taking the wow. high ground while in combat can completely deny them of the very thing that makes rockets so powerful and will force <laughs> them to hit you with a direct rocket instead, or yeah. at the very least, Kill. waste a bunch of their time. Oh. Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, the missile launcher, find a way to fucking go around it and get him, okay? Engineer versus Pyro. Pyro is crazy. It's flamethrower. Oh, I think it's flamethrower. It's crazy, okay? It's crazy. All right, let's watch it. Now, right. unless you're playing Battle Dang. Engineer or otherwise roaming the map looking for weird places to hunker down, oh, you probably God. won't be running into very many pyros. <laughs> sure, just like the other two classes we talked about, sometimes pyro. Yeah, I think flamethrowing uh, gets overpowered by other uh, characters and their weapons because flamethrowing... How long are you going to throw flames and not take hits and damages and dying on the spot, you know? I think flamethrowing is, is effective, but it, it's going to take a while and you're going to die really quick. Arrows okay. just walk into your sentry for some mm. reason. But being less mobile than a scout or a soldier, and with the extra health to take a couple extra what? shots, pyros typically oh, steer clear of established NG nests. Since they're essentially a strictly close- You can shoot pretty far with that shotgun as engineer. Strange you know? class. That's, it's usually that's difficult awesome. for pyros to deal with a sentry gun besides spamming flares to little effect. Since wow, engineers oh, shit. usually have access to a dispenser, getting set on fire from across the map is usually Dang. annoying at most. But if you find yourself wandering about, getting rushed down by a pyro can oh. often prove fatal. However, oh. Oh, God. The engineer has a large advantage over the pyro in that his shotgun is a burst damage weapon, while the majority okay. of the pyro's weaponry requires sustained fire to be effective. This oh, means shit. you can control the damage you take and the damage you deal by using corners and choke points to your advantage. And once again, utilizing the distraction hmm. sentry when you find yourself getting chased down can give you the- Also, like somebody, uh, I, I saw it in a video, uh, TF2 video, uh, where they said er almost every single weapon in this game is a uh, one-click shot, like a rifle, okay? Whereas um, b before, the, like when the game released for the first time, they had like two automatic guns and uh, they removed it because now, uh, you know, rifle bolt action type of, uh, you know, guns are much more effective at playing this game. And uh, I gotta agree because if there's like automatic guns or something like that, like assault guns or what whatnot, 
that would be uh, like um, you know very easy for people to uh, be shooting and winning you know i'm glad they removed it because this is the way you should be playing this is perfect okay time that you need to take down the pyro safely forcing the pyro to deal with the sentry gun can also help direct some of his flames elsewhere while you mm. finish the job when fighting okay. a pyro it's practically impossible to not get set on fire unless you simply keep yourself out of the effective range of the flamethrower which is mm. the simplest way to cleanly deal with a pyro however most maps wow. tend to be close quarters and a smart pyro will oh usually shoot what is this gun possible this gun is awesome <laughs> this is where you should try to control the situation as much as possible baiting a pyro into a sentry gun is a very reliable oh, way to God. secure victory and try your best to make play sure you don't die of health such as dispensers medics and health <laughs> packs to ensure the effects of afterburn are minimal quite possibly yeah. one of the more weirdly effective yeah grab and hold on to a fucking medic uh, medical i don't know first aid or something uh especially when there's a pyro around because the fire shit is like shooting all over the place and you're gonna die in a second okay? ways to approach a fight with a pyro is to just remember that fire doesn't kill you nearly as fast as two quick shotgun shots do so <laughs> if you have enough health to do it you can often just tank some fire and put your shotgun in their face two mm. point blank shots with the shotgun can technically kill a pyro with ease but i find that it's much mm. more reliable to pull off with the panic attack okay engineer versus demo man now uh pyro is kind of tough uh, not really tough but it's um you, you should not stay in front of him you should always shoot him from the back or something because that's how it can work because the fire is gonna be all over the place because it's gonna spam it across the fucking like 90 like all the everything in front of him is gonna be on fire so stay away okay and make him run around and shit so that you can shoot him from uh, far away and <laughs> that's how you can kill him okay engineer versus demo man now this dude is really tough you know he's got a lot of bombs and shit look at his belt look at his um suspenders full of bombs what the fuck <laughs> Demo man. Look, 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 he looks like a, I don't know, suicide bomber or some shit. And what the hell? Engineer's <laughs> hard counter. There's not really any way around it. He's practically put on this earth to... Oh! So don't be surprised <laughs> if I don't have very much advice on uh, Also, like, he's drunk and uh, it's always like... And shit like that. He's always uh, mumbling and rambling and shit because he's always drunk. <laughs> How to fight Demo Man as Engineer Beyond. Most of the stuff I've already said regarding the soldier. Yes, mm. you can use the Wrangler to tank a lot of the Demo Man's explosives when he attacks your Dang. sentry gun. And you can often use the short circuit to shut down a couple grenades and allow huh. you to close the distance for a few clean... Couple grenades! Shots. But the most important thing to remember when fighting a Demo Man is that you know I, I think it's demo man that can use different different types of grenades uh grenade launchers uh sticky bombs uh, bombs that can make you jump i think this is the character that does that i could be wrong but this dude is like crazy if that is true then this dude is crazy probably the most op crazy cra character you know never, never want to be this distance away from him you want to oh. be this distance away from him. <laughs> it might seem counterintuitive but getting right up in the demo man's face is the achilles heel to the power of his explosives yeah. oh. as opposed to soldier who has access to the mm. very popular gunboats a huge majority of the demo man's yeah, weapons get, get do close to it damage and most demo man oh, players know this and will often avoid even attempting to hit things that are close enough for them to take splash damage from wow. and a lot of the time if you can get close enough you can do enough damage to them to See, that's the demo man. He can throw all kinds of grenades. It's crazy, man. This this character is. I think he is the most OP in the whole game. I think that self damage you know? to be the finishing blow. Similar to finding a pyro, if you have more than a hundred health, it can sometimes be worth it to tank one pipe while you quickly blast them for two oh, clean shotgun man. shots. Something that's even easier due to the self damage that they'll also take in the process. And while the short wow. circuit can be useful for mitigating some of that damage while attempting to get within blasting range, the hmm. arc of the grenade launcher and the sticky bomb launcher can sometimes make this tactic unreliable compared to the same strategy wow. being used against oh, the my soldier. God. However, the short <laughs> circuit is also perfect for clearing traps allowing mm. you to approach a demo man that was relying on his stickies to take you out. Disarming mm. a trap and quickly rushing down the dude watching it is quite possibly one of the most effective things that you can do against demo man and is one of the few small victories that an engineer can reliably take against his class counter. Oh, so the trick is to get close to him, really close to him, so that he cannot do anything because if he throws any bombs, it's gonna hit him too. So get close to him and get him, okay? Also, like, don't stay away from him. If, you, if you're away from him, go, go hide somewhere somewhere but really get close to him when he's not no noticing okay <laughs> oh yeah as for demo night um hmm. 
Yeah, there's this uh, this thing called Demo Knight where he uses like a katana and starts fucking slashing people to death in I think it's like one shot kill. My god, that's crazy. Uh, he's OP, I got to admit, okay? Yeah. Let's just uh Let's just say Demo Knight is not nearly as big of a threat to the engineer as the regular Demo Man is. Really? See the chapter on Pyro for a Oh, so he's not that threatening? I don't know, man. He got too many grenades. He's gonna pop up like a group of people he can kill at once. I've seen videos, okay? Similar it's crazy. Advice, I suppose. Moving on. Hmm. Engineer versus Heavy. Now, Heavy is like, holy shit. Uh, he's gonna throw all the drrrr, the fucking Gatling gun, okay? They fight like men. <laughs> Heavy, despite okay. having a ton of health and dealing a ton of damage, is actually one of my favorite classes to fight in TF2, even as the engineer, <laughs> because his- Like, everybody's gonna pick Heavy, anybody that's new to the fucking game, they're gonna pick Heavy, because drrr, they like that shit, okay? A-Gun is a sustained <laughs> fire, and he just sits there- Spam bullets! He's the closest <laughs> thing to a boss fight that you can get in this game, which makes wow. him all the more satisfying to kill as that short little hard hat man. Fighting the heavy oh, as the man. engineer actually requires the combined strategies of almost all of the previous classes that we've discussed so far. Similar to wow. the Pyro, he has a sustained fire weapon, making it Jeez. ideal to peek him around. So he's like the boss of the whole game. <laughs> around corners and Crazy, always subject man. yourself to his bullet stream when you're also putting shots in him. Similar so, to so you're telling me he is the OP one? That's crazy. <laughs> Demo Man, it can be beneficial to get as close to the heavy as possible, but for different reasons. Because heavy players rely on tracking their targets with their crosshair to do damage, the heavy's hmm. effective range ends up being around here, much huh. easier to track. But if you stand right up in a heavy's face and strafe around him, switching hmm. up your direction occasionally, you're essentially stepping out of his field of view long enough oh! to where he's forced to constantly Damn! reorient his crosshair by a large amount. And because the heavy Fuck. can only move at a snail's pace Boom. while he's firing, Boom. it's difficult for him to keep you from doing this until you you've pumped him full of lead. And once again, mm. because of this fight being close quarters, the panic attack shines against heavies compared to the stock shot. Also like the over usage of the fucking minigun, drrr, shit, you will not really able to focus on your health and who's surrounding you. And also like you're very slow. So uh, when you play as heavy, you all you have is the advantage of shooting multiple bullets. And the, the, the situational awareness, your own awareness is completely lacking. That's what I think. Okay. And finally, similar to how standing on the high ground denies soldiers of their splash damage, against a heavy, you'll want Damn. to do the opposite. Specifically <laughs> when there's a ledge involved. The heavy wants to shoot at you directly. So if mm. you use the environment around you to put your character's hitbox behind something, that's less of you that the heavy can hit and will force Damn. them to be even more precise than usual. Wow, Another man. Another thing you can do when <laughs> fighting heavy is to just listen. Man, if I, if I play this game, I'm like running away from heavy because I know that that motherfucker gonna kill me in a second i know <laughs> just listen don't worry heavy i'm here for you I'm look at him he kind of looks sad listen what's up with that gun, which and look at the uh the shoes it's uh, a bunch of birthday presents makes a very <laughs> distinct sound when revved up when hmm. the minigun isn't revved, that means it's going to take him one full second to start doing damage. Knowing this, oh, you God. can often make your move based on when you do or don't hear the minigun revved up. This strategy, wow. of course, doesn't work against the Tomislav, which has a silent rev. However, you can sometimes hmm. bait the heavy into unrevving his gun anyway by pretending that you're about to leave and then come back to give him the finishing blow. Overall, hmm. listening for the rev and going in when the heavy is vulnerable is the key to really getting the jump on the big guy. Just make wow. sure you don't have exactly the wrong gun for this situation. Oh, AKA man. A non -crit <laughs> justice. Good thing you got a shotgun. You could uh, at least get him like 80% of his health by a couple of shots. That's crazy. You and me, partner. <laughs> engineer versus engineer. Oh man, this is gonna be uh, epic. Okay, let's watch it. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how you fight yourself. That's crazy. <laughs> Engineer versus engineer is often uh, relatively rare. If you hmm. do end up interacting with the enemy NG, chances are you'll be seen. Uh, I thought, I thought, okay, there's a blue team and a red team. I thought like it's only red team that's gonna fight each other. I forgot there's a blue team. Okay. More of his buildings than the guy who's been placing them. And the engineer class is ill-equipped to deal with buildings from the other team. And when it comes to dealing with a nest, it's usually better left up to your soldiers and demo men. But that hmm. doesn't mean that you should ignore enemy NGs completely. There are a few okay. fringe things that you can do to assist in taking down sentries or shutting down Damn. the NG's building. Despite not having too okay. many long-range options, combining the Wrangler with a temporarily placed sentry gun can help pester an out-of-range nest oh. quite effectively. Also, like, you can hide behind its shield. That is fucking awesome. I like that. Uh, Engineer has so many advantages. That's that, that one thing is really 
like really true. Like, look at this. <laughs> Otherwise, keeping a close eye on the kill feed for when the enemy sentry has been destroyed can give you the go ahead to get in and do some damage. Because mm. let's face it, an engineer without his sentry wow. gun more often than not is an easy kill. A large majority of engineers yeah. in CF2 are focused on little else besides rebuilding their stuff, lying to the world around Damn. them. So if you can make your move when- So sentry must be a, a really like, um, if you stay next to a sentry, that, that's going to be a lot of firepower and nobody can really defeat you that easily. Okay, so sentry, they gave you sentry for this character uh, because uh, I guess he's weak when he's alone. So you have to have a sentry somewhere, and but you, you cannot be sticking next to it, but somewhere around it without getting, uh, you know, spotted and shit. When they're distracted okay. by their chores, getting the jump on an engineer can be a breeze. When fighting <laughs> against engineers who play uh, more aggressively or employ some of the tactics that I've been get doing him. over in Good. this video, for instance, I have one overarching <laughs> tip. Shoot right. the engineer. Shoot Seems the engineer. simple, right? But if you focus exclusively on taking down the gun, but tragically die oh, before you're fuck. able to turn your attention to the engineer building the gun in the first oh, place, God. then you might as well have just done nothing because the engineer is just <laughs> going to go build another one. It's much yeah. more efficient to kill the, the sentry so that he doesn't build another sent uh, not the sentry. Kill the engineer. Uh, because if you kill the engineer, you won't be able to build another sentry. Okay, that's good. Okay, don't focus on the fucking sentry. Just kill him. It's over, okay? Even if you die, just kill him, okay? <laughs> who not only is currently shooting you back, but is also moving around and will continue to move around after you die. <laughs> Shoot. Look how he uh, sat on top of the sentry and shot it. The person moving around <laughs> That's doing great. stuff. And when he's dead, then you can shoot the not person thing that doesn't move around so much. It's hmm. much easier. The only time where shooting the gun before you start shooting the NG is when you have the time to, such as <laughs> when they're not actively trying to kill you or running Everybody's away. Everybody's dodging bullets. when they're bullets. doing weird things like running the rescue <laughs> ranger with the mini sentry, what the heck? Even oh! if the NG is fortified by a sentry nest, you should still Damn shoot it. the engineer before you do anything else. Damn Worst it. case scenario, you die before you can kill the sentry gun, but now the guy who heals the sentry gun can't do that anymore, and you can politely oh. Ask your teammates to finish what you started. Oh my god. Damn! <laughs> Wow! Overall, engineer versus engineer often okay. boils down to who has better aim with a shotgun, who is mm. making the right decision when it comes to focus fire, or mm. who is even paying attention to the world around him at all. Attempting to fight an enemy level 3 sentry gun nest as the engineer is extremely difficult, and it's mm. better to play around them than playing against them. However, mm. keeping a close eye on your team's progress on taking care of them can allow you to move in and make plays and eventually win the this game. This is insane! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was engineer versus engineer. Um, it's like, like I don't know, defeating yourself, basically. Do that, okay? Engineer versus medic. Um, medic probably is the weakest. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, medic is only good to heal others. But I don't know about, uh, I don't know much about medic. Let's find out, okay? Oh, your bones! The mm. medic can be one of the easiest classes in TF2 to kill, but oh, also really? the hardest. I, like I, it all depends I, on the I guess I was right. For the engineer, though, you know? catching I was right. out of position medic is about as easy of a pick as you can get. And mm. in casual mode, you'll... But uh, do many people pick medic or is medic, uh, I don't know, put aside nobody picks medic or something like that because I barely see a lot of people playing as medic. So I guess there's only... I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's <laughs> You'll definitely watch. run into your fair share of lost boys running around wondering where their team went. However, mm. it's not so much the medic you should fear, and rather mm. what a relatively experienced medic can do to you and your buildings. Huh. The stock Medigun's Uber Charge is hands down the most powerful thing in TF2. Being able to make someone invincible for eight seconds spells death to you and your stuff if you're not careful, especially when combined with a soldier or a demo man. Uber Charge led mm. pushes are designed to make short work of your nest. So mm. once again. Don't expect me to have too much to say about fighting against it. Realistically, huh. the most you can do against an Uber combo is to stall with the Wrangler and hope your team distracts them long enough to come out of the situation unscathed. <laughs> but as the battle engine, there's actually quite a lot of good. Oh man, he died so you quick! Can position yourself well and use flank routes. <laughs> oh shit! Getting close to a medic is the hard part, but you'd be surprised how fast a medic goes down to a shotgun. Oh One of my man! My favorite weapons to use. When wow, so he a does have a the great justice, advantage, which can do upwards of 180 damage at close range and a decent chunk even in the worst circumstances. Medics oh, are man. busy guys <laughs> and they don't have time to worry about if there's a crit boosted engineer just casually strolling by. So use huh. that to your advantage. The most entertaining thing about medic players when playing engineer however is wow. how so many of them seem to think that an NG is basically a free Ubersaw. So if you can exploit <laughs> that stereotype 
The med mm. picks will literally come to you. And lastly, despite... But you know what? I always like medics. So, because it, you, you can heal and help, uh, help others and shit like that. I really like it. But medic is weak in this game. That's, that's, that's unfair, okay? <laughs> Engineering being a bit of a meme. I do think that it actually can be a viable strategy if not for the advantage that it gives you for intentionally positioning yourself Damn. precisely where medics <laughs> tend to stand. He died even so if you fast! And the killing blow on a medic, forcing them to use Uber in an unideal situation is the next best thing to dropping them. Yeah. Okay. That was engineer versus medic. Uh, pretty cool. I, I like it. I, I just wish medic was stronger because I don't know. I don't think anybody's gonna play as medic anyway because like he's the weakest of all. Probably the easiest. Like he said, he, he dies in like two shots or one shot. It's crazy. Okay. So next we're gonna watch engineer versus sniper. This dude doesn't even run. He's somewhere up in the corner aiming at shit it's crazy okay <laughs> now this is probably the only class in this list that the majority of my advice won't be how to fight the class themselves mm. but rather how to avoid the class entirely until you're in a position to guarantee a kill on them the sniper oh. is the only truly long range class in the game so if they can see mm. you and they're far away you're instantly risking your life hell they don't oh. even need to be far away to kill you so yeah as lame as it sounds also like you probably have to be really good at uh, aiming properly and sh getting the kill and also like you have you have to have a good ping or else you will never be able to get the shot you know it, it all it all depends on the aim and the reticle uh, on the um, whatever target that is okay so it ha you have to have a good ping internet ping and <laughs> you have to have a good aiming uh, skill okay that's the only way you can uh, and also like even if you can aim really well you need to know how to shoot properly you need to know when to click the button and shoot it you know that's another fucking because in this game a lot of characters are like flying around jumping around it's almost like shooting a fucking uh, bee or a fucking frog it's crazy man so uh sniper uh, much dangerous, but if if he doesn't know how to do anything, he's gonna die really quick. That that's what I think. Okay, it's just like try not <laughs> to be seen by snipers. Like if you see a dot on the wall, don't Whoa. cross. Just like so, the dot can appear from across the map onto you. That is that is awesome. That I like that. Don't ever show your face in that sight line ever again because the sniper is now existing right there. Just go, um, <laughs> just go upgrade your dispenser, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some snipers just happen to be out of position and can be punished accordingly. Oh, shit! But this is truly the only situation in which you have the upper hand on the enemy sniper. Really Man. close and really right behind Oh, him. there the he true is! true answer to fighting a sniper. What is he doing amidst all the other players? He should be somewhere else on the top, like on the roof, looking down. What is he doing? Sniper <laughs> isn't even really to engage in a fight with them. It's to use the flank to go all the way around everyone else and pump a few shots. Two shots! Oh, my monster. God! You can sometimes make the call based on past engagements, whether it's safe to challenge a certain sniper's aim but if you're dealing with a real sharpshooter a real aim hero kind of guy then there's mm. very little that you can do once they get your sights on you besides poke at them and pray that the aim punch happens to knock Damn. the hair off course long enough to close the distance or get killed by the second sniper that's always there for some reason it's generally a good idea to wait until the last possible second before firing upon a sniper that doesn't see you Damn. since it's entirely possible for them to turn around and quick scope headshot you before you oh can god damage at <laughs> range. that's Obviously, medic he died so quick completely still and avoid walking <laughs> in a strong oh! when you can help it. And because Sniper is such an impactful and oppressive class simply by existing, it can often be worth it to sacrifice yourself for the Sniper pick in the same way that it's worth it. Wait, can you zoom in in the fucking, with the Sniper? Can you zoom in? Or is it just uh, like Counter-Strike where it's just like this, the gun is like this with the reticle here? Is it like that, like this? Or is can you zoom in? I don't know, depends on, if, if you can only do this, like this, then it's gonna be quite easy to kill people. Whereas zooming in is gonna be like a fucking, I don't know, like a found footage film or something. <laughs> it's gonna fucking mess your brain, give you nausea or some shit. The trade for the medic. Yeah. Whether you're clearing out it's the It's gonna be really to hard to uh, kill like that. Trading the back lines in a more creative way. A mm. sniper pick, especially on a particularly skilled one, oh, is worth fuck! a trade in gold. He jumped on him. Or Australian. <laughs> Just don't walk into the sight line. Huh. Just, you know, stay there. Stay there. Just don't go anywhere. Don't go this anywhere. Is fun, right, medic? <laughs> don't move, stay I'm here, don't go anywhere. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so sniper is easy to. 
I guess he's he's easy to kill, but don't get close to him or don't uh, stay in sight of him. He can shoot anybody. <laughs> you don't know where it's coming. One shot kill too. That's crazy, okay? And also like it's there's no bullet damage, bullet drop or anything like that. Like other games, like AAA games. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, cartoonish game, but still like you can really die really fast, okay? So now engineer versus spy. Spy is fucked up. He can change into anyone. He can disappear. You don't even know where he is. Okay, fuck this. Okay. <laughs> Any long time. And this is the final character that we're gonna take a look at. Okay, so let's go. Some subscribers to my channel may remember that one time <laughs> that I made a 12 minute long SpongeBob reference disguised as a guy. Spy is like a fucking uh, wolf. Okay, he's um, sneaking about and shit. It's crazy. Dealing specifically with the very last <laughs> class that we're going to talk about here. Last but class! For the sake of not repeating myself entirely, I won't get too much into detail here about the stuff that I've already covered in that video. So if you want to hear more about the engineer spy matchup, I highly recommend that you go check that out. A lot of people I probably like the music. call the spy a hard <laughs> counter to the engineer, but I tend to disagree. While the spy possesses tools that are designed okay. to destroy his buildings, there are many things that the engineer can do to heavily stifle the effect of a spy on his buildings, his team, and himself. Self in general. Of course, there's the acronym SPAS, which stands for Stay Spies. Away, Pretend You're Busy, <laughs> Awareness, hmm. Help From Your Teammates, and the Sapper Technique. Whoa. Almost all of these tips can be applied quite effectively to handle a pesky spy, but I'll go it's into a few more spy. specific things that you can do when there's a spy. Teleporter! But first of all, sometimes <laughs> a spy is just gonna get you. You're not Superman, yeah. you can't do everything at once. However, spies yeah. love to try- You can, like, all that chaos. You don't think a invisible bitch is gonna come in and stab you in the back? It's crazy. Get away with it can happen. It already went for repeatedly. <laughs> most spy players have passed. This, this, this spy character is probably the most like the second most OP character ever. The first one being Demo Man for me, you know? Uh, the second one being Spy and the third one probably uh, Heavy. Okay, crazy. Patterns. Okay, and if you can anticipate those patterns, you'll be catching them in the act. <laughs> in no and also like he can sh uh, change his shape into any other character, which is insane. And you've been like thinking like you're shooting a scout, but he's actually a spy. It's insane, okay? Time. This includes tracking a spy when they're invisible. In order mm. to do this, you should think like a spy. Where is the most likely place <laughs> oh, look that, at that a spy would run off to? Spies like to run character. towards health packs, ammo wow, packs man. and sometimes there's no other viable way for them to escape. Spies oh, God! He, you couldn't even see him and this dude got him. Wow, man. You couldn't even see him like the, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger's predator, you know? It, it, some kind of you know invisible thing that you can see sometimes you can't even see that it's crazy in sight and you, you know? can easily reveal oh shit by spamming your look you can only the shoot and then you can see some of it tool for that's crazy location although it's sometimes a bit of a waste to use all of your metal this way the mm. most underappreciated way to keep a spy from getting away with murder is to simply listen to the sound <laughs> Sounds. The decloak sound. Okay, so he can actually uh, emit sound and shit like that when he's running around and shit. So that way you can actually see. But the, it's almost like you're uh, chasing a ghost. It's almost like you're looking paranoid. Oh my god, there's a ghost living. That's how it's like. Very distinct. <laughs> and you should treat it like an alarm bell that a spy is going to be on you at any moment. Also, look for spy stabs in the kill feed to alert you that it's time to keep oh a look at the suspicious character. I don't know where he is. <laughs> after a kill typically you cannot won't see him invisible for long. Oh in man, reality, that's a spy. the hardest counter to a spy is simple. Also like there could be multiple spies considering anybody can pick the character. I could be wrong though. Play communication. That's crazy. Spy at the shutter door. If you can do something as simple huh. as say where a spy is, his effectiveness <laughs> essentially drops to nothing. <laughs> On certain maps and in certain situations, it's even possible to hmm. hear an invisible spy's footsteps, which is clearly just over the top spy bullying in my opinion. But I oh, would not if I said it in Oh favor. man! I'm sorry, Scoop. He was right there! Oh, oh, you can only hear his uh, fucking footsteps and he wouldn't notice. And holy shit, you can... <laughs> that's crazy. I swear I'm not cheating. I, I just have headphones on. <laughs> Another great tool for dealing with spies who go after your teleporter is the Eureka mm. effect. Being able to teleport to your exit even when it's being sapped can be the last thing a spy would expect, and replacing the wow. entrance at spawn is just as easy. And remember to be careful when a spy is sapping the entrance to your teleporter. It's okay to stand on it while you unsap it, mm. but as soon as it's active again, you should get away from it pronto. Wow. Some spies like to attempt to trick the engineer into getting telefragged once the sapper is removed. <laughs> So don't fall for it. And Jeez. even if you don't have a shotgun equipped, shutting down a spy with the Wrangler is also a valid option. And the rescue ranger. This spy character is is like uh, almost like he doesn't fit into this game. He's so crazy. His abilities are so crazy that it's almost like 
he is an intruder. He doesn't belong in this game. That's how it feels like. I mean, look at that. He can he can like disappear anywhere and change into any character. It's almost like a uh, some kind of deity or something. It's ridiculous. Half bad okay. at making your own spy wall art. In fact, the rescue ranger <laughs> spy is a wall art. decent spy checker. <laughs> since you'll always hear that satisfying crunch hmm. when hitting a disguised spy with a bolt. Hmm. <sighs> Listen to that music to my ears. <laughs> well, Dang. that's all of them. That's uh, that's all the classes. All the classes too. If you're playing awesome. engineer, hopefully you've learned enough from this video to not be Dang. as easy of a target anymore. So thanks so much for watching, and I will <laughs> talk to you nieces and nephews next time. Next Bye -bye. time. Goodbye. Okay. So amazing, awesome. I love this. Perfect video. I like how the video was narrated, everything, uh, also like the editing, everything, everything looked amazing. Also like the video was separated into chapters, which is awesome, okay? So this is a very good video and uh, wow, I didn't expect the uh, reaction to go about 44 minutes long. I didn't expect it to go that much, but uh, if you made it till now, then uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, my God, how to fight, how to, not how to fight every class in TF2 as engineer and win. No, how to get good as engineer in TF2 and win. Okay, that, that that's the real title. I'll put that title at, uh, on this video, okay, so that you can laugh <laughs> and click on it and enjoy the video. So yeah, this is a fantastic, uh, you know, summary of uh, the character engineer and also like all the c classes, all the characters, uh, how to defeat them and whatnot. It's just awesome, okay? And uh, I hope he made other videos on other characters because this is fantastic way to do it. Also like the whole video is so perfect. It's so awesome. No wonder this video is like the most popular video on Uncle Dane's channel. Okay, so uh, go check out Uncle Dane. He's awesome. He can make. He makes a lot of stuff. He's actually really cool. Okay, I'm gonna subscribe to this guy. Uh, look, I'm subscribing right here. Okay, he's awesome. I will subscribe to this guy, and uh, please make sure to subscribe to this dude. He's awesome. I, I will also react to a lot of his videos from now on. So uh, I, I mean, I, I TF2 videos get a lot of re views for me. Okay, so I, I'm like super into it. I love this. Okay. I'm gonna subscribe to them, okay? So, yeah. Uh, please make sure to, uh, you know, if you like this reaction, uh, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. This is my backup channel. This is where I upload like three videos a day. And uh, go check out my main channel. The link will be in the description. Uh, there's a, tons of reactions over there. You find it, uh, you know, you will really be entertained throughout and you will really like it. If you like it over there, subscribe over there. And if you like this reaction, very long ass reaction, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you like this reaction, please subscribe over here. Subscribe to both my channels. Show me support. Any video that you want me to react to, type down in the comment section and note it down and react to it. I'll even say your name, okay? So, fantastic video. The most popular video on this channel, Uncle Dane. How to fight every class in TF2 as engineer and win. Uh, awesome video. Can't wait to check out that uh, other video, like one hour, 17 minutes that I talked about in the beginning. I'll take a look at that someday this weekend or something. Um, I hope you will, uh, I hope you like this video, okay? So, yeah, that's about this reaction. Please make sure to subscribe to both my channels, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>